I've been missing the way you touch me, baby Kisses on my neck and the love you gave me Hey you guys, welcome back to PJ's Place. Come on in. All right, you guys, I am back with another quick video, wig review, show and tell. And today, you guys, as you can see from the beginning part of this video, I am sharing with you or showing you a wig that is part of Outre's daily wig line or daily wig collection. Now, you should probably already know about the daily wig line. They have been out for quite a while. I haven't reviewed or even purchased one of the daily wigs in a couple of years. I will be honest about that, but I mean, no shade or nothing against them. I just really hadn't focused on or looked at them. But if you're not familiar with them, they are uh, touted to be or the purpose of the line. They are specific specifically for wigs that you can probably wear on the daily or they're kind of geared towards people who are not interested in cutting off lace or don't really have to have a lace front as these wigs all are lace parts so there are no um, there is no lace front or no lace to uh, cut off the beginning or the front part of this wig um, they do have a lace part and I did already show you the wig cap construction again at the beginning part of this video I am really excited about this y'all to be honest with you um, I like the daily wigs and I've had some comments on my channel and some of the other wig reviews especially when I do like a half wig or a um yeah like a converter cap wig people kind of like those or some there is a community of people who just prefer not to deal with lace and that's fine I get it because I'm sometimes on that committee <laughs> truth be told I don't always you know feel like dealing with trying to finesse a wig line a uh, hairline because when you have lace I mean it's not gonna look good if you don't really know how to work with lace so that's one of the good things about these wigs so again these wigs are not lace fronts they are lace parts um I have her in the style Chalice and I have her in the color DR4 honey brown if you're not familiar with these wigs um again these wigs are um hand tied um they do have an elastic band in the inside of the wig cap and that really does help for the wig to lay down really secure and flat on your head they do come in a lot of colors as I showed you and this one again is DR4 honey brown I'm excited about it when I showed it to you I'm like oh wow mm -hmm. I think I'm liking her already um, this wig I also like the curls I love the texture it appears to be a little bit more on the yakky side I don't feel like it's shiny at all and it doesn't look like it's coming off shiny in the uh, viewfinder I'm excited about that I showed you how the parting space looks but there she is again so um, this wig should be pretty easy peasy for anybody who's not really just wanting to do a whole lot maybe just kind of want to throw on and go so we're gonna go ahead and try her on um, it does say that this wig is heat set safe up to let me put on my glasses it is heat safe up to 400 degrees and again it does say that it has a natural texture and volume but you know what y'all truth be told I feel like this is a Nisha it's a slick Nisha without the lace I mean it's a lace part but you don't have to cut off uh, the lace front there's not a lace front and Nisha wigs are lace front wigs so one thing about Altre, they know how to cater to who serves them, honey. So if you love Altre wigs or you like the Nisha wig, but you didn't really want or you don't want to fool with cutting off lace, you may want to take a look at Shalice um, because to me, I'm almost wanting to say she is like a Nisha knockoff with no lace on the front. So anyway, y'all, let me try her on and we'll come back and talk about what we think once I put her on my head. Stay tuned.
Okay, you guys. So I am back and I have her on and I am feeling her. I do like her. <laughs> so again, this is Shalice by Altre. She is part of the uh, their, the Daily Wig Collection. She is a lace part wig. She is not a lace front wig, so there is no additional parting space. It is what it is as far as the part is concerned. You can wear her as a middle part, as you can see the way I have her on, but you can also shift her as a side part, and that's what the model did. They show you both examples here. Um, I may jump off and switch her or shift her over to the uh, left. But I think I'm really feeling her as a middle uh, middle part. Um, this wig is in color DR for Honey Brown, but she comes in lots of colors. So let me go ahead and tell you some of the colors that you can get her in. You can, um, I believe she does come in the regular uh, one, one B number two, but also they have DR2 Chocolate Swirl. I did review a wig in the Chocolate Swirl color. I love that color. DR2 Golden Copper, DR4 Ginger Brown, DR4 Honey Brown, which is what I have. DR4 Mushroom Blonde and DRFF Red Velvet. FF is face framing uh, for those of you who don't know. She is heat safe up to 400 degrees. So uh, when I put her on, if you saw that part of the video, I felt that she was a little bit humpy. So I did use my heat straightening tool by Zales. I should have already uploaded my video showing you how I straighten my hair, my own hair with that tool. It's pretty, I like it, it's pretty good. Um, I don't use it all the time on my regular hair, but it is great for these kinkier or natural texture wigs to kind of get them straight. And all I did was just kind of put heat up up at the top just so that I can get that humpiness out you may not have that issue um, I had to kind of you know braid my hair down or twist it down and I just felt like it wasn't giving me that um, flat look that I wanted I am using the um, elastic band to help hold her down let me lean forward so you can see how she looks on me I did use some powder in the part but I did not pluck out any hair so this is how it looks on me um, and I kind of like the way it looks you know I don't feel like it looks too like the line of demarcation or transition is very noticeable the dark root on the wig kind of helps with that so I think that gives it a really natural look also the fact that this hair is a um, natural texture makes it look really um, really good to me it's not shiny so I didn't have to do anything to keep the shine down and then of course I am loving the length shoulder length honey is works good for me I did use my detangling brush just a little bit around the slippage on the front part because I don't know I just thought it would I just kind of wanted to loosen the curls up in the front a little bit it is flying away just a little bit so you might want to tame it with some hairspray if you feel like the flyaways are getting on your nerves or using your wax stick can help with that as well but for the most part in uh, styling it I used my fingers mainly in the back so I'm gonna turn around and let you take a look or give you a 360 of how she looks on the sides and in the back And here she is on the side. So y'all, this color is absolutely gorgeous. I do love dark roots. If you don't know, I think that that really just adds something when you're wearing a color wig. I prefer to have dark roots. It just looks very natural to me as it transitions into whatever the color is. Um, I love these kind of highlights that they have in this brown. It says honey. What is it? Yeah, honey brown. So it's sort of like a honey blonde color and brown mixed together. It's really cute. So this one I know I'm going to keep. I'm not going to sell. I'm going to have this one for like my spring and summer or summer. I like to lighten up the colors that I wear. And actually darker hair looks a little bit more washed out. Makes me look a little bit more washed out. So I think that this, this is good. So I'm feeling it. And I will say again, I feel like she is a Nisha. She's very comparable to Nisha. So if you like the Nisha wigs but you just don't really want to cut off lace or you're not good with that, pick up this daily wig Shalice because she is an excellent dupe or she is very similar to her and all you have to do is just cut her um, take her out of the package and put her on she does come with baby hairs I forgot to mention that but this wig I never really styled these kind of wigs with baby hair so I think she looks great so anyway you guys that is all I have to say I did pick her up if I didn't mention on wig types so I will leave a link down to their uh, to their website down below in the description box if you want to go there to purchase your wig she was moderately priced very uh, affordable I want to say she was around the 30 
uh, dollar mark and then once shipping and taxes were, were added it was around 48 or something like that as opposed to her starting off in the 48 range and then you know with shipping and taxes a little bit more pricey so um, that's really all I have to say about her you guys I haven't oh and I didn't experience much tangling not yet she is again like I said that uh, yakky natural texture so she may start to get a little dry I don't feel like she's dry right now um, but she I do feel like she's soft but as she gets older she may the ends may start to get a little bit kind of on the nappy ish um, thing you know start to look a little worn or whatever but right now she's not itchy she's very soft I have not experienced a lot of shedding and I didn't really have any tangling as you can see I'm running my fingers through her right now I do feel like the nape of the neck may get a little bit tangled as it rubs against your collars or your clothing um, I wouldn't do a whole lot of brushing because I, I think your fingers would be justified in trying to style her I did use my brush right here because I kind of wanted to get that more of a flowy look but um, yeah I think I'm going to show, um, I may jump off and show you all how she looks as a side part and then we'll wrap it up. Thanks. Okay, you guys, I am back and I have her on as a side part and she's cute as a side part. If you really prefer a side part as, to a, as opposed to a middle part, I like her, but not for me, simply because... Um, oh honey, I just the, the swoop is beautiful. It's a nice swoopage, but I would probably want to trim it a little bit, you know, to keep that bang or that swoop out of my eye. That would get on my nerves probably. I mean, but she's cute as a side part. I feel like you could detect it a little bit more as a wig, as a, wearing it as a side part. I may be wrong, but um, I don't know. To each his own. I think that she's still a very beautiful wig, even if you do, you know, if you switch her. And I would wear a left side part as opposed to a right side part if I did, uh, you know, if I switched her. But, you know, you could certainly put her on the right side if that's your cup of tea. She's still gorgeous as a side part, but I think I like her better as a middle part. But needless to say, regardless of how you decided to wear Shalice, she is beautiful so I would recommend this wig again I picked her up on wigtypes.com um, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think you guys so that's all I have to say about this wig I do want to say thank you so much for coming back to visit me here in Miss PJ's place I hope you like share and subscribe please share me with anyone that you think would enjoy the kind of videos that I put out um, follow me on Instagram at PJ I am and until another video you guys that's that